bubble problem. A thin film of soap, so right over here, is illuminated with monochromatic light of wavelength 600 nanometers. A. What is the frequency of the incident light in a vacuum? B. What is the frequency of the light in the film? C. What is the speed of light in the film? D. What is the wavelength of light in the film? E. Calculate the minimum thickness of the film required to produce no reflected light. And finally, F. Calculate the minimum thickness of the film required to produce maximum intensity of the reflected light. What is the frequency of the incident light in a vacuum? We have our givens over here. Here's our speed of light equation, which is wavelength times frequency. We rearrange that for frequency. Then we input our speed of light. And please notice what we did with the wavelength. We had to convert that to meters because the speed of light is in meters per second. So 600 nanometers is 600 times 10 to the minus 9th meters, or 6 times 10 to the minus 7th meters. Carry out the math, and we get 5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. What is the frequency of the light in the film? Well, it's 5 times 10 to the 14th hertz. The frequency of light does not change as it enters a new medium. The wavelength and the speed changes, but not the frequency. What is the speed of light in the film? We use our equation for the index of refraction. There's the speed of light. Here's the speed of light in the film. Rearrange that for velocity, v, which is the speed of light in the film, and solve. Here's the speed of light. Here's the index of refraction. And we get 2.1 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. Now, if you solve this problem incorrectly and got a number greater than 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second, which you would have done if you said V is equal to N over C, you should know that that answer can't be right because it's greater than the speed of light in a vacuum. What is the wavelength of light in the film? Use the equation for wavelength in a new material. That will be lambda sub N is equal to the wavelength of light in a vacuum divided by n, the index of refraction. So we have the wavelength of light up here is 600 nanometers. Divide that by 1.4 and we get 429 nanometers. This time we left the wavelength in nanometers because the index of refraction has no units. So our new wavelength will have the same units as the wavelength in a vacuum. Calculate the minimum thickness of the film required to produce no reflected light. So we'll use the equation for bubble subminimum, and that's 2t is equal to m lambda. We'll make m is equal to 1 so that t is at a minimum, right? Because we ask for the minimum thickness, so you want the smallest value of m. Be sure to use the wavelength in the film. Don't get tricked. Don't use the wavelength in the vacuum. So we have t is equal to lambda over 2. We solved for this on the previous slide, and we get 214.5 nanometers. Once again, we're keeping lambda in nanometers, as 2 has no units, so the thickness will have the same units as lambda, nanometers. Calculate the minimum thickness of the film required to produce maximum intensity of the reflected light. This time, we use the maximum equation, and we want t to be a minimum because we asked for the minimum thickness so this time we set m equal to zero so 2t is lambda over 2 once again we'll keep the wavelength in nanometers as 4 has no units and we find that the thickness is 107 nanometers